So the other day I had this question brought upon me of how much math do you really need to be a web developer out there? And the very the answer varies depending on what you're trying to do. In general, I'll just get this right off the bat, you don't really need much math to be a web developer at all. I mean, basic, basic high school math will do if you know algebra, if you know addition. Maybe if you're doing some CSS and you need to do um, some addition from or subtraction for padding or margins, that would be obviously helpful to you. But really for web development, you're not going to really need a whole lot of it. Where it does come in handy is in larger applications, maybe if you're using, if you're working on an enterprise level application. But a lot of that kind of logic probably isn't going to be in the, in the front end web development part of it. You're probably going to have that in the back end. I know as a Java developer, I do a lot of Java development on top of uh, doing JavaScript, that I use probably math in my job once every few months, something that needs a little bit of math in. It usually deals with some kind of graphing or something a little bit more complicated. So it's definitely not necessarily something you need to know. Now, keep in mind that it's good to know, especially if you're dealing with algorithms when you get a little bit, um, that's a whole different subject, but if you're trying to create some really efficient algorithms, maybe knowing some big O notation, may be able to take a look at your code and trying to find the efficiency, that would be a little bit math-based. It's good to know those things. Let's take a look at a curriculum for a computer science program. Okay, yeah. so you can see here on the screen, I have a general catalog from my university, which is the University of Nevada, Reno, which is a good state college. They have a computer science program. You can see the math that they require. You obviously need to have Math 181, which is Calculus 1. And if you go into here, you got to take a lot of the core classes, of course. And then for the major requirements, there's a lot of uh, computer science courses and then for mathematics it does quite have quite a bit of math you have math 182 283 330 352 so calc 2 calc 3 linear algebra probability and statistics so you're probably thinking that why would you want to get a computer science degree if you're going to become a web developer because you don't need any of this math well i mean getting a computer science degree opens up a lot of doors for you and of course there's a lot of advantages when you're going out and looking for jobs. A lot of employers will only look at you if you have a computer science degree. But this math will help you in the long term, um, if, especially if you're working in uh, an engineering type job where you might need a little bit more math. If you're doing something like AI or you decide not to go with web development but another uh, job in the engineering or programming space, definitely you'll need to know a little bit more math in that case if you're working large enterprise programs if you're working in java and you have complicated graphs you'll definitely use math if you're in gaming if you're doing um, ios development if you're creating video games you probably need to have a little bit more math knowledge um, strictly web development not as much so just keep that in mind but this is kind of what you'll see in in the curriculums of most computer science departments you're going to have uh, definitely a lot of math involved in it. Thanks everyone for watching. If you don't already know, uh, I have a link to a couple of amazing Udemy courses below. So feel free to click on those. Um, that actually helps out. I get a little bit of affiliate income. I'm also doing a contest. So if you don't know, um, I'm going to pick a winner this Sunday. I'm going to give away two Udemy courses. The only thing you need to do is sign up for my email list. Click on that link below put in your name and share one of my videos either on Twitter, Facebook or something like that. That's all the things you need to do and I'll put you in a drawing and on Sunday I will live draw and two people will receive free courses. Thanks.